New tonight, a day in the backyard takes a dangerous turn for one pup. This after its owner says a dog was mauled by two dogs, one on a leash, one without. News 8's Julian Grace joins us in studio now. And what charges are the owners demanding here, Julian? Well, Mike, he's asking for a lot. This right here is Kane. He's a pup, as you can see, and he's just eight months. And already his owner says he had to fight for his life in a situation that he believes should not have happened. Really friendly. Hey, Kane. As you can see, Kane is a playful pup. Very friendly, and of course, he likes to sniff. But then on Saturday, playtime was quickly over when two dogs walking with their owner, one on a leash and one without, attacked Kane. It was about a nickel size. And left the eight month old puppy like this. The frustration spilled over for Kane's owner, Chris. So if he wants to walk the dogs, at least put a muzzle so the neighbors could be protected. And dogs that are loose or tied up in their yard. The dogs may not have to have a muzzle, but they are supposed to have a leash or at least be three feet from the owner. Animal control took three hours to get out here and the police did not want to come because it was animal against animal. But then on a different day, Chris saw the same man and the same dogs again and it was the exact same situation. One on a leash and one off. From a chuck hole to a leaf falling, you know. However, this time, Kane was inside the house, but it still left Chris feeling uneasy. I don't want any of the neighbors to be hurt or any of the kids that live in this neighborhood to be hurt because this man has no control over his dogs. Details, we did reach out to Animal Care and Control earlier this afternoon. We have not heard back from them as of yet. The moment we do, of course, you can read about it on wishtv.com. Brooke? All right, Jillian, thanks so much.